Are you looking for a fun and easy antenna project? Well, the quarter wave ground plane might be just the ticket. So keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. So if this is your first time here, please consider pressing that subscribe button. Well, if you're just starting out in amateur radio, you may not have collected all of the resources that a more seasoned ham may have, and this includes antennas. Uh, when I first started in amateur radio, my first uh, transceiver was a little handheld, and it had sketchy transmit and unreceive on all but maybe the closest repeaters. So, uh, to the rescue would be an external antenna. Fortunately, there is an antenna that's easy to build and quite inexpensive with just a minimum amount of parts. That's the simple quarter wave ground plane antenna for VHF. So we're gonna build a simple ground plane VHF two meter antenna. Ground plane antennas, they're pretty easy to recognize by their appearance. First off, uh, you're gonna notice the radiating element. This, this element is one quarter wavelength long or about 19 inches for the two meter band. Uh, next up will be the radials. There will be three, maybe four radials uh, going out horizontally, maybe drooping at a 45 degree angle from the radiating element. Each of those are going to be a quarter wave long each also. Uh, this particular ground plane that we're going to build today is constructed on an SO239 chassis connector. So the radiator is attached right to the center pin of the SO239 and the uh, ground radials are going to come off the, um, uh, the base of the, uh, of the connector. And then, it, and then uh, attached to that will be a coax cable with a PL259 connector running into your radio. So to build this antenna, first we're gonna need a couple calculations for the length of our radiator and our ground plane. To do that, we're gonna use the formula of 234 divided by the fre our frequency uh, to get the length of the radials and the, um, and the main radiator. So since I'm gonna build this antenna, cen antenna centered on the two meter band, I'm gonna divide 234 by 146 megahertz. I'll get 1.60 as my answer. That's gonna be the length of the radiator in feet. So multiply that by 12, and that'll be um, the total answer for the radiator will be 19.2 inches. So my ground radials need to also be a quarter wave long, so they'll, I'll use 19.2 also for their length. With that said, uh, let's assemble the parts and the tools. I have a length of 12 gauge uh, solid copper wire. Uh, solid copper wire might not be the most durable, but it's easy to find. Um, other things you can use, maybe like our 3 seconds of an inch brass brazing rods, uh, so, uh, copper coated steel, steel wire, or even uh, coat hangers, uh, cut some of those up too. Use whatever materials you can find that are handy. Next, I've got an SO239 chassis connector. Uh, you'll find these at a ham fest, uh, maybe an electronics store. You can order them online at um, Amazon. I'll put, I'll put a link below in the video description below if you're having trouble finding that SO239. And then also, um, you're gonna need some electrical ring connectors, uh, some nuts and bolts to attach the uh, radials to the base. For tools, uh, soldering iron, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be using the isotip uh, butane iron since I'm outdoors. Uh, wire cutters, uh, crimper, pliers, screwdrivers, all of that kind of rounds out the tools for the list. So to put this antenna together, first uh, measure out the elements using the formula. You'll need five, one for the radiator and four for the ground elements. Next, attach and crimp the ring connectors to the ends of four of the elements. Then solder the radiator to the center pin of the SO239 connector. Next, use the bolts to um, attach the radials to the connector. It's a tight fit for these bolts to go into the, into the SO239, so I first pre-tapped them with one of, the, one of the bolts to give it a little bit of thread, and they went on quite easy. That's all there is to it. Your antenna is now complete. So let's check out this antenna, see how it tunes up on the uh, SWR meter. Testing out the antenna at a um, frequency of 146 megahertz, we've got an SWR of 1.1 1 .1 to 1, and that's with no adjustment, just using our formula at all. So um, if you don't have a meter, this is a excellent antenna that you can build and be reasonably sure that if you follow the measurements correctly, you are going to be in tune. 
So to mount the antenna, I saw a person using a length of PVC as a mast. Uh, you can push the coax through the PVC if, it's, if, the, if the tubing is a three quarters of an inch or larger, and then just let the antenna rest on top. It's not the most sturdy type of mast, but it's quick and easy. So doing that, uh, we got the antenna up in the air. Let's see how it transmits. KB9 VBR testing. N9CLE, uh, KB9 VBR. Good morning, Wally. It's Michael here down in Wausau. Uh, just um, working on a little project this morning, a uh, quickie quarter wave um, VHF antenna. So we're seeing how it hits the Tomahawk repeater. Okay, you're doing very well. I hear a little hiss in the background. Could be me, but your audio is coming through beautifully. So whatever you did, you did it right. Yeah, well, we only have it up a couple feet in the air, so uh, maybe if I get her up 10 feet or so, it'll make a bigger difference. But um, thanks a lot for the comeback this morning, and uh, you have a great day. We'll catch you later. KB9 VBR. Okay, very good, very good. Yeah, you'll have no problem with that. Uh, and be in line of sight, maybe 10 feet might make a difference, but uh, you're certainly uh, good enough into the system. I wouldn't worry about it. You have a great day. We'll see you later at 9 CLE Mobile. I hope you found this project simple and quick to do. Uh, this little ground plane will work great with your handheld radio or also a high-powered base radio, so don't fear putting 50 watts or more of power into it. Uh, you can also make this antenna for other bands too, maybe something for the 6 meter band, uh, the 1.25 meter or 70 centimeters band. All you got to use is your formula 234 divided by your frequency to find that um, exact quarter wave frequency for the antenna. For more um, ham radio articles and information, please check out my blog at www.jpole-antenna.com. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And also, uh, check out this other video that's recommended right over there. And subscribe to my channel to get notified when our new videos are released. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Thanks for watching. Have a great day in 73.